but for mature audiences. This program is proudly sponsored by DT's Hotel, where every colour of the rainbow drinks, corner of Hyatt and Church Streets, Richmond. Goodness, today's over. Oh, half a day, lots of dollars. Oh, it's nice to be finished. End of the poll. Oh, who's this? Oh, We're closed. We're closed. Oh, no white out. We no added stockings. Oh, it's the guys from Squeal. We're closed, but it's you guys. Come in. Hello, oh, Miss. Oh, nice. welcome. Hello. Hey, hello. Fancy hey. coming this time of night, Doc. Come in. We just need somewhere to shoot a show. Oh, is that all right? Oh, come in. Thank you. Oh, come oh, in. Warm. Come in. Oh, thank you. Right. How are you? Outside. Much warmer. Oh. We didn't interrupt oh. anything, did we? Not at all. Of course, never. For a welcome, welcoming back. I just can't speak today. Welcoming back, Warren and Derek. Welcome Yay. back. Yay. 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 Oh, look at that. And, and you may have noticed another person. I wish everything in life was that easy. I could just ask for it and it was given to me. Um, okay, welcome back to our second segment. And, uh, oh, you can't see anything that's going on down there, but we have some bits and pieces. Oh, there we go. A lovely pair of legs. There. Oh. 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 Oh, that doesn't hurt. Oh, right. oh, oh. Let's do some community announcements first, and then we can come back to uh, what's going down. Uh, down in, what's going down? Who's going down in front of us here? Okay. Um, we've, we've got some, just this first one here, a monthly drop-in and uh, support group for uh, gay, bi guys um, aged 18 and under is starting up um, and they're, they're going to hold those sessions on Saturday afternoons in the city um, and if you want to find out more call Jim on 98656700 that's for 18 and under um, it looks like it's only boys at the moment which is a bit um, sad but that's cool too because we all need our support groups and yes. I'm sure there's a support group out there for um, underage lesbians. So it sounds funny saying underage lesbians. Underage. Because it's underage it, lesbians and gays. It does sound like it's illegal. It does, doesn't it? Well, at least if you're underage. <laughs> There's an interesting thing on that too. Cause there was, was an article somewhere. There before they, they, there was some was um, South Australia? New South, uh, Western Australia. Oh, you could be a gay boy at 18. And a, and a lesbian at 16. Yeah. We get an extra two years practice. <laughs> um, hello. My first story I actually received on the internet and I, I don't know how old it is, it's not actually dated but it's a news article that comes from London and it's about these thieves that broke into a house in England and um, when the police came in to, to investigate they saw these lines on the table and it wasn't until then that um, they realised that the thieves had broken in. They found this pot, and on the outside it had a name called Charlie on it. Oh, <laughs> so they got very excited, and so they lined up all these these lines. And um, later on, it was discovered it was actually like the dead dog's ashes. <laughs> oh, oh, so they had a bit of the old canine. Oh. Yeah. Hey, well, it's a new one. It's oh, going to get the It's very right short. It's like a canine. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, send your barkers. We found Michael Mardell. From Michael. You just happened to be sitting in the in the cafe on the web, didn't you? Weren't you? And we just right. invited you over here. Yes. yes. Welcome yes. here. Now, Michael, you are um, female to male. Yes. That's right. Um, okay, straight into it here. Now, yes. now you you're saying before you've had um, the top operation, but yes. look at that. Look at that. Yes. Lovely. Now, what size were you before you said? 36B. Look at that. In three one goes, well done. Oh. Yeah. Three goes. 
Three guys. Wow. Yeah. They have to do it in stages, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. A lot of liposuction. Mm. Grams and grams. Okay, maybe a kilogram. Of so why do, why do they have to do it in stages? Why can't they just like own? We were trying to minimise the slashing. Mm. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. But we couldn't. Oh, in the end, no. Is it? Oh. Yeah. But I also got a tummy tuck done to get rid of the fanny baggage. The fanny baggage. I've never heard that phrase before, the fanny baggage. Neither had I. No, it's like the when uh, daughter. <laughs> and it's like yeah. It's one of those things I really didn't want. Fair enough. So I with, with going through this, is I know um, when we spoke to Terry about what she said, how there's a lot of psychiatrical things you have to go through first. And you yeah. can't just go and get the operation. It's the same with the female to male sort of... Uh, yeah, well, it's pretty much the same, except... I did not have to go through the clinic. I did not have to see the two psychiatrists. I did not have to see the um, and pay two hundred fifty dollars to the psychologist. I did not have to go and see the hormonal doctor, but I chose to see them and the surgeons um, because I, I wanted some feedback myself. Yeah. Mm. Um, but to get upper surgery, I didn't need to do that. I just Thanks. found my own surgeon and did it. However, when I get around to thinking about having some lower stuff done then I need all that background. But I must say um, a big thank you to especially um, Dr Herbert Bauer because he um, gave me some letters so that I could get my status changed okay. to mail. Oh, wow. Yep. So even though it's not on the birth certificate yet, which is what the lobby group is working on, yeah. after we get through the Discrimination Act, yes, we're going which to is, uh, yeah, which is, which we'd really love people to write to their politicians and say that they know some wonderful gay people, they know some wonderful transgender people, and they should pass the bill. Yes, Whether they're Labor right. or Liberal or Independent. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine you were pretty upset when all that came out and Transgender Victoria has been pretty... Yeah, we were right. working very closely. We were talking to lots of people. Um, and the Liberal Party, believe it or not, are very um, supportive. And uh, they, um, they actually had the co-convener of TGV and myself in to see them. And even the... the who is it? The deputy of um, the Liberals, uh, Louise Asher, told my local member to talk to me because wow. he had very limited ideas about transsexuals. Oh, oh so yes. Now, so, have they talked to you? Have yeah. They? Oh, yeah. Nine o'clock on a Monday night for an hour and a half, wow. I tried to point out <coughs> that uh, the difference between a cross-dresser and a transsexual, I said, cross-dresser is somebody like you in a business suit who goes <laughs> home and puts on a frock. <laughs> and the second time I said it, he said, please don't refer to that. <laughs> You've got to tread carefully with these liberals, yes. Now, yes. How common is the, um, the female to male sort of surgery? I mean, we hear a lot more in the mainstream about the opposite yep. way. Yep. Well, I mean, it used to be three to one, but some people um, are putting forward that it might be one to one. And um, so what happens is females to males, they don't come along to meetings or stuff like that. They, you know, on the network, you're talking and somehow you just run into people. In my case, I was lucky I was researching someone who was transgender because I was interested in them, a female. But when I researched, I thought, hey, this is my story. Yeah. So then it was, I had somebody on hand to tell me how to get to the clinic, what to do, who to see, which doctors to see for hormones. So all these people, a big thank you because, yeah. you know, as they say, there's always somebody there to help you out. And something yeah. I've really got to ask is um, yeah. when you have the lower surgery, well, can you function and do it like If you have enough <laughs> operations, yes, so yes you, you could. You go and get it there but you can't do it properly until you've had, like, <laughs> go to the toilet properly and stuff like that until you've had all this... Yeah, all surgery. this other surgery, yeah. So, yeah, so there's a plastic surgeon that specialises in it and um, it's very very long and involved and it's a minimum of four operations oh and I God. say minimum Jeez. so well, it's just a lot more that? involved than what you'd expect then like yeah. you know someone so I'm waiting for cyber stuff to happen oh yeah you know cloning I'm always interested in what you guys have to say to us out there we're not getting many letters um, or, or sort of phone calls um, on anything you know that you want to talk to us about with Bed TV here what we're doing we did have a call from David from Strathmore um, and uh, he just says that to keep up the good work and thank you for the <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the
thank you for the um, <laughs> some free updates, which is cool because um, we're all waiting for Jason to come back on, of course. Um, oh, and he awesome. says that our next challenge <laughs> is to secure gay rights in the schools, which I agree with totally. We're talking about GST. Uh, June 30th is Constantly. coming up, yep. and, um, and the idea that uh, GST will create some sort of black market of, mm -hmm. of goods and services, um, perhaps that will create a greater demand for the services provided by Despina, Despina Porphyrus, yep. Por who used non-sterile equipment and sometimes out-of-date anaesthetics in her dirty makeshift home surgery. This woman was actually not a qualified dentist, but for her Pasco Vale South neighbours, she offered a cut price service based on basic dental needs. <laughs> and she's been in court this week, and apparently she's got to pay a $1,000 fine. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Oh. They said that when the police raided the house, they found 18 vials of restricted anaesthetic drug in her kitchen, uh, which were which were four months past their use-by date. So yeah, it's disgusting. Oh. Oh. So GST on sex in brothels? Yes. It has to be. It's a service. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, no. There is nothing <laughs> in this country that will not be affected by no. GST. Oh, Anyone that tells you anything different Don't is think lying to you. Don't to say that. I'll, right. I'll have all of that. All right. Time. Everything Just is GST inclusive. End of the first segment. <laughs>